A group of doctors is calling childhood obesity an epidemic within an epidemic. The pediatricians say some children and teens will have a shorter life expectancy because, than their parents because of it, and they want better access to surgery to help them. Jennifer Bellamy joins us. Jennifer, this recommendation is controversial because it's a life-changing surgery. Yes, yeah, Cheryl, the issue of severe obesity mostly impacts children considered to be adolescent. That is usually young people ages 10 to 19. The American Academy of Pediatrics says insurance companies should cover the cost of weight loss surgery and follow-up care for these kids who say uh, who they're, they're saying that this issue is a uh, causing risk of early death. Losing weight is big business in the U.S., but a leading organization for childhood physicians now says young people need better access to weight loss surgery, meaning insurance carriers should move out of the way, clearing barriers to treatment. Right now, an estimated 4.5 million American adolescents have severe obesity, but only a small fraction undergo life-altering surgical treatment. We're talking about metabolic or bariatric surgeries that constrict the stomach or digestive system in order to limit the intake of calories, thus leading to weight loss. That can involve the removal of part of the stomach or rerouting the small intestine. A gastric band can also be used to reduce the size of the stomach. The American Academy of Pediatrics Journal says the procedures should be considered a safe option for those with severe obesity as those children face lifelong risks of death because of the condition. In children over two years old to adolescents topping out around 19 years old, severe obesity is defined as having a body mass index of at least 120 percent of the 95th percentile for a certain age and gender. These young people can develop health problems sooner than those with lesser degrees of obesity, facing issues like diabetes, high blood pressure, fatty liver disease, sleep apnea, and mental health conditions earlier in life. That's why the group says the life-saving option of surgery should be more available to children as well. The journal cited a review that found 47 percent, less than half of qualifying young candidates, received insurance coverage after a request with age under 18 years as the most common reason for the denial of coverage. That's compared to 85 percent of adults who met criteria and did receive coverage. The journal reported children who were minorities were also less likely to have bariatric surgery, mostly due to socioeconomic status. And if you're wondering about other ways to fight obesity, the group did find lifestyle changes helped, but that success was in children with less severe forms of obesity. Few alternatives actually worked for those struggling with what's considered to be severe.